Yes. Uh, would you want me to open the door for you? Okay. Are you? You're recording me? Yeah. Yeah. This is the Cheesecake Factory. This is the Cheesecake Factory, y'all. What's the problem with that? This is a chain restaurant. Who takes someone that looks like this to a chain restaurant? That look like what? I'm, I'm fine with talking about it. <laughs> Even in front of them. Oh sure. yeah, I want to talk about it. Yeah. Come on, get up on in the car. Yeah, we're going to talk about it. Wait. He got me at the cheese. Some of y'all people be getting besides y'all selves. Let, let's talk about it. What's wrong with the Cheesecake Factory? Am I missing out on something? I used to take my wife to the Cheesecake Factory for, for birthdays and, and just random little dinner dates. You know who f***ing it up for y'all? The Sprinkle Sprinkle Lady. That's who messing it up for y'all. The Sprinkle Sprinkle Lady got y'all fucked up. He got me at the Cheesecake Factory. How you gonna take somebody like look like this? And... Motherfucker. When you get to know somebody, really get to know them. People can tell you who they are without really trying to tell you who they are. If you listen, you listen closely. The dating process is a job interview. At a job, you have 90 days to show that you belong there. Start treating these people that you meet with the same type of energy. Bro, you know how upset I would be if I planned a date and a motherfucker talking about, I'm not getting out this car. What? Lights on or lights off. Either it's fine because I'm beautiful. It's fine as f So you can have the lights on so or lights off. So they can see you in the dark? Yeah. I can be seen in the dark. And if I can't be seen in the dark, I can be felt in the dark. It's some suspicious activity. Hold on. Hold on, gang. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, Hold on now. <laughs> something look real suspicious. Something. Something just ain't right. Is either she a WNBA player or that's that's a man? <laughs> what? <laughs> nah, you good. Thank you. Hello. Lights on or lights off? I feel as though that was a man. Just off of the way he said, "Nah, you good." The way he was moving, he he started figuring it out later on. Yeah, that is. That, that is, you know what? I ain't gonna go in too much because somebody accused me of being homophobic on one of my other videos, and I ain't too appreciate that. Y'all gonna remember this video? Basically, is this the female? She said that she wants, she would love to have a threesome with her man and a. Ch you feel me? And she said the ch would be bad. She could have the surgery. She just got to make sure she still have her penis. And I'm like. If your man, and let's be honest, if your man agrees to have a threesome with you with a tranny, like, there's a chance that he might be gay. You feel me? Or he, he, boss, he, you know, I said he crossing the street. Somebody said that's homophobic. I didn't say I had a problem with it. I didn't say, oh my God, ew. I didn't say none of that, bro. I just said, yo, if your man is down for that, there's a, there's a chance that he is jaywalking. Is that is that being homophobic? You feel me? I don't want to come up and say, oh, I got gay friends, but I do. I'm not finna judge them. Hey, what's some hometown tea? I mean, there was this uh, chick when I was in high school. She used to like with a dog. Hey, what's some hometown tea? All right, these girls in high school used to go on with the bleachers during school and get trained down on them. Hey, what's some hometown tea? Hold on, hold on now. I ain't gonna say about the bleachers because you know what I'm saying. I don't think anybody was doing nothing at the bleachers at my school. But I know folks was getting turned out in the staircase at school. Okay, I made another batch. These came out lighter, so tell me if you could taste it. Oh, yeah, I taste the honey. You taste the honey now? Nah, this is, I put, put a little more honey in there. You want to come say hi? Hey. Come in the camera. Babe. Come, 
Man, come on. You sexy. Come on now. Why are you trying to explain? I'm not trying I to explain. I want to be sexy for you. All right, come on. You being sexy for me. Come on. No, just for you. For your eyes only. Yeah. I wouldn't even wear this outside. Okay. I'll blur it. All right, you don't got to act like that, man. It's cool. I'm not acting. It's good, girl. Damn, cheeks are... What? Them cheeks was clapping. I don't like that. So the the thought of like men lusting over me based on what you're saying don't bother you. But Who if a man lust actually you? lust after me that you visually see, you get upset. Danelle, you talking about what happened at Kroger? No, I'm just talking about in general. I don't. I'm trying to make it make sense in my mind logically. We on camera. But there's people that actually watch what you. Say. Okay. There's people that watch what you do on Instagram. Yeah, which is, I don't really show my body like that on Instagram. Oh, I bet them titties be there now. Oh, yeah, my titties be out. Why? Right, yeah. Not my entire body. Not my vagina print in my ass. Like, I don't do that. Your vagina print ain't even showing. To me, it is. It's not showing. Okay. Jesus. Jesus. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. I'll take the plate. I'll take the plate. Um, but anyway, what I was saying was, um, we ain't had, I don't think anything was going down in the bleaches when I was in high school, but in the staircase, it was going down in the staircase, bro. I can say that I clapped some cheeks in the staircase in high school. People at our school used to like have in the janitor's closets and like on top of the water fountains like during class it's water fountain. Fountain. when i was growing up my mom and dad were both pastors and then my dad went and cheated on my mom and my mom kicked him out and threw all his shit on the side of the road he some hometown tea this girl that i went to high school with um her her ex like got into like a big fight and then he said you know what i'm done messing with you and then he went to go like you know have with her mom then the mom got pregnant he some hometown tea um we had this teacher in middle school who um her husband um not and she put it into cupcakes and brought it to everybody, all the students in class. And like, um, and then he was also like the SWAT captain. And like, they have like jugs of Gatorade on the truck for them. So he was like putting it in there too. He was hometown tea. I don't think y'all heard what she just said. She said she had a, there was a teacher in her middle school who made cupcakes and it had her husband's in it. Bro, people sick. <laughs> people are people are sick, bro. I saw that you disgusting pervert. That's absolutely unacceptable. I saw that. This is the reason why I canceled my LA Fitness membership. Me and my coworkers were talking about this the other day, and I was telling them a story. I, I think I got it on. I might have deleted it off of, off of, uh off of YouTube, bro. One day I went to the gym. Okay, this is just one occasion of many. One day I went to the gym. I'm doing the shoulder press, bro. The shoulder press is right across from the bench press. This chick comes out of nowhere, and it's a whole bunch of bench press chairs that she can sit on to do her workouts. She decided to sit on the one right across from me, okay? So she got to doing her, like, she got to doing these. First, she started off doing sit-ups. And she put her, her legs in the air or whatever. Bro, the leggings she had on was literally going right through her vagina, bro. So her cat was just, meow. Her cat was just out there. You feel what I'm saying? So I'm not gay. So I'm just there like this. <sighs> Uncomfortable, dog. Because eventually I'm just going to have, I'm going to look, bro. I know it. I tried my best not to look. I was doing all this, dude. I end up getting up. And then the next day I came in, I get on the Stairmaster. And I think this is when I'm like, yeah, I'm not coming back, bro. I get on the Stairmaster, dog. And I'm walking on the Stairmaster. Where they have the Stairmaster, they have, uh, what you call it, right in front of the Stairmaster. They have um, treadmills. They have treadmills right in front of the Stairmaster. So I'm on the Stairmaster. I'm trying to get my 30 minutes in. Chick comes in front of me. Exactly how shorty looked right there, just like that. The only difference is she had shorts, no drawers, and her shirt was like tucked into her fucking shorts. And I'm 
on the stairmaster and she on that fucking treadmill just fucking going. And them goddamn cheeks is <laughs> cheeks is just slapping against each other. The gym notices that, and the women in the gym, this is the crazy part. The women in the gym would see when a man is in a compromising situation where a female's, it, you know, her sexual assets is, is just in your face pretty much, and they'll look at you to see what you're going to do. They'll look at you to see what you're going to do. I mean, I, I'm not gay, so I tried. I tried my best, but I, I looked. And I went back to freaking looking around, and when, when I turned my head to look around, it was a lady. She looked at me like, How are you mad at me, but you come into the gym? Or she's coming to the gym advertising, but you mad at me for being a man. 